I uh, creating food plots for uh, wild animals in the woods. It's also good so you can learn where your animals are at. Cause, you know, when you're walking around in the woods, your uh, your wild animals may become a food source. You know, if you lose everything. So, forest creating forest garden plots. Okay, now you should all all already know that animals like to create uh, homes in underneath trees, tree trunks, right? But uh, how do you know where your food plots are at? Well, you need things to remind you, okay? So I'm gonna give you one example of, of where you, you could have your food planted for the, for the wild animals. And also, if you end up losing everything you have, you would know where to look if you spend a lot of time walk, wandering around in the woods. Now, if you look here, I've got an Aunt Jemima bottle hidden in here. Well, it's not hidden, but you know, I never, I never retrieved it. I never recovered it. It came with the land, right? But uh, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, recover it because you know the bottle could get broken, and the, those bottles are going for like fifty or sixty dollars right now. But anyways, let me show you. See if you could find it. I'm gonna just go ahead and do a quick scan. Bottle's probably been here for a long time. Okay, and I, and this is the food plot I'm creating. Can you see how many plants I planted around around the uh, Aunt Jemima bottle? See that? There's the bottle. Okay. Now that bottle could be a waypoint for another location like you know you could say uh 180 degrees or 100 or uh, 220 degrees uh you know vector whatever 30 feet from uh aunt jemima right and that could be another food plot but so that's the bottle and uh can you see what i planted around it now i threw some grass around here but here i planted a sugar beet and here's another one and uh, here's another one right there. And I've got some more right here that I'm gonna go and uh, plant out over here. You know, but uh, you need to think about waypoints. So I'm gonna climb up here. And uh, I, like, I like this area right here. This is one of my favorite areas. See that? As you clean it up, you know, as you start removing the leaves from the ground, grasses start to come up. Now, you hear all those birds? You see another possible location for uh, animals, habitat? You see that dark spot down there on that fallen log? Way down there? But I'm going to come around in here and uh, plant... Like this is a good location. This is a good location right here to plant something. So I'll plant right here. And I'll create a hole. Usually I'm wearing gloves, right? But for this video, look, look how look how nice that soil is. See that soil? So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, dig that up and. Uh, find one to put in oh this one looks small see i want to just go ahead and uh drop it in there come up and uh cover it up so i've got all these to plant i'm gonna plant all over in here and uh create create a habitat and here's another uh this is a very dangerous location right here you see that this uh, big trunk right here, ain't nothing holding it up. But uh, I think I'm gonna plant some stuff along this path. Now I've got this whole backwoods uh, blocked off because uh, you know I got that baby cow and uh, the neighbor lost uh, a little goat. 
you know, to some wild animals. So I've got the whole pasture fenced off with a five foot fence. So, you know, give that little calf a chance to get, get a little older. And I'm gonna let the grass grow back here. That way, you know, she'll be able to, uh, you know, come like, I don't know, September or, you know, July, August, September timeframe. She'll be able to fatten up before the winter. Okay, so waypoints, you know, know what waypoints are, uh, food forest, uh, just create little habitats for the animals because, uh, you know, even though, you know, you, even though, look, probably nothing's going to happen, but if something does happen, you want to know where your animals are at and uh, you want to create little food plots for them. Okay, just thinking of cleaning this up, but so busy working in that garden let me show you another while well, there's still video show you another you could always find animals next to next to uh, trees you know they create habitats snakes too right but you know there's holes in here that create habitats for animals and uh, probably plant some up around in here and you got to learn bird sounds too uh, I need to I need to do another video on uh, all the sounds of the forest the birds uh, starting to identify you know there's like eight or eight or nine distinct sounds that I'm familiar with out here now does someone just watching a video, they're hearing all these little bird sounds and uh, you don't even know what kind of sound it is, what kind of bird it is. And I'm gonna do a video on that. So you can start learning that, you know, the woods, once you learn it and you've been out here enough, you'll be able to tell all the different sounds that are in here and, you know, and you can tell when, when the sound is not correct. And you can tell when there's something in the woods that just isn't right just by the sound of the animals and the noises they're making. But I got to do a video on identifying uh, bird sounds in the woods. Pretty cool. Pretty fun. Spend a lot of time out here. You know. It's really spooky at night when, a, when the coyotes make their, uh, you know, when they end up catching an animal. They kind of go crazy at night. But anyways, look, there's another habitat down there. See that? Kind of see it in there. If you know where to look in the woods, you could you'd be able to you'd be able to find food. And you want to try to capture like a like a rabbit or something, you want to try to capture it. Hopefully you get a male and a female and then you create a cage and you domesticate them in a in a survival scenario. There's a lot going on. You gotta really, you know, you gotta think think ahead and uh, you know, create little food plots for them. So that's what I'm doing now.